Welcome back on this Thursday morning. So there are some areas that are still dealing with some dense fog. This is the view over downtown Marquette this morning. That fog is improving a little bit, but it's going to be a gradual process for it to continue to mix out. This is what you need to know across the region. Your headlines for the western UP. A little bit of patchy fog likely over towards Keweenaw as well as mist. We're expecting some light day clearing there. The central UP areas of dense fog across the south. Some rain and snow mixture and potentially drizzle as well as maybe even a little bit of freezing drizzle. Otherwise cloudy and breezy. The eastern UP a little drizzle and mist right near Lake Michigan across the south. A little patchy fog possible. Cloudy mild and becoming breezy. So that system is continuing to bring in some moisture across the southern UP. Now the good news is that most of this is gradually moving out of the southern UP this morning. But if you're traveling into Wisconsin, that's where the bulk of the moisture is going to be at for this morning and today. Also seeing some of those rain showers across the northern lower, some rain showers into Wisconsin with some wet snow for central and southern Wisconsin. Here it is, the satellite radar loop imagery, very light precipitation, especially along Lake Michigan. So if you're along US 2, know that this morning you could encounter wet road conditions, a little bit of that drizzle and mist. So that could slow you down this morning. But it's going to continue to decrease here throughout the course of the morning hours. The remainder of the day is going to be a cloudy day with wind flow out of the north. We're expecting Wind speeds of 15 to 18 miles per hour. Gusts could range around 30 miles per hour, 25 to 30 miles per hour. Very late this afternoon, extending into tonight, we start to clear out some of that cloud cover across the west end of the UP. And then eventually we're going to get some sunshine for tomorrow. So tomorrow's going to be a nicer day. It'll be a drier day for us. This is 3 o'clock into the afternoon. As we head towards the weekend, the cloud cover is expected to increase again ahead of our next clipper. Temperatures today still above normal. Most areas in the upper 30s, a few low 40s possible right along Lake Michigan. We're supposed to be at 24 for this time of year. Our overnight low temperatures tonight with that clearing occurring mainly into the 20s mid 20s along the Wisconsin state line. So it doesn't look like it's going to drop off a whole lot, but it is going to be a little bit cooler for our overnight and early tomorrow morning. As far as snow for this upcoming weekend, we do have the potential of very light snow on Sunday. Not much for accumulations, less than half of an inch for most areas across the central UP. Some spots around half of an inch. This model brings in isolated one inch of snow in some spots. Now that's because there's this jet stream that uh, starts to bring in this little trough on Saturday. Saturday and into Sunday. That trough's going to be accompanied with a little clipper system that brings in that snow. So here's Saturday, starting off quiet, some sunshine, clouds will increase. It's behind the front in that clipper that we start to see a little bit of light snow very late Saturday night and into Sunday morning, mainly for our northern areas in the western UP with that light snow. By Sunday evening, we're expecting that to gradually decrease. There could still be an isolated flurry or two by the time we're ringing in the new year and temperatures are going to be a little bit cooler for this upcoming Sunday. We start off 2024 on a dry note with some sunshine. We have more sports on the way. Up next, TV6's sports director Kevin McNulty gives us a preview of matchup college hockey fans.